Hello again everybody, this is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and today we're going to be checking out the Lakeside Pipe Organ version 3.0 upgrade. The Lakeside Pipe Organ is a vintage steel and wooden pipe organ located at the Lakeside Temple of Practical Christianity in downtown Oakland, California, recorded with the musical director and organist Donald Sears. We recorded every individual note on the organ since each pipe has a unique character. In addition, we recorded six different stops on the organ, each with a very distinct timbre. All settings were recorded with two microphone positions, stage and hall, which is the close mic and the far mic. The combination of these six stops at various volumes allow for a dramatically wide range of tones. We also sampled release triggers for all the notes, as well as additional foot basses, bells, chimes, and session recordings with effects, live organ demos, and hall sounds. As always, we've packed our custom user interface with lots of great sound shaping controls that give you the flexibility to warp the sound in many ways. You have control over volume swell, attack, release, transient offset, vibrato, release volume, articulation switching, mic mixer, crossfading and layering, and much more. Above these controls is the articulation drop-down window. This allows you to select the different articulations. Choose from each individual stop by itself, or the all-stop mixer, the all stop X fade, chimes, or effects. You can also use key switching to control this menu. Each articulation in the menu is activated by pressing a MIDI key starting from C-2 at the bottom of the MIDI key range. Depending on which articulation you have selected, you will see the drop-down window at the top left change. The octave window is only available when any single stop or the chimes preset is selected. The stop cross fade window is only available when the preset all stops x fade is selected. For more control, try learning your MIDI controller to this knob. This is great for making it sound more expressive. The stop mixer window is only available when the preset all stops mixer is selected. This gives you individual control over the overall volume and panning of each stop. You can also solo or mute these as well. Lakeside Pipe Organ also comes with some chime and effect sounds. Let's check some of these out. You'll also find an adaptable LFO system, a filter section that allows you to apply your choice of 13 low pass, high pass, and effects filters, with assignable modulation targets such as velocity, mod wheel, expression, aftertouch, key position, and step sequencer table control, as well as a built-in arpeggiator.
The mic mixer window gives you control over two independent mic positions, close and far. The on button enables the corresponding mic position. Attempting to turn off a mic position when it is the only position on will turn on the other mic position. You can also select the output for the corresponding mic positions. With the presence knob, this knob adjusts the presence for the corresponding mic position. Lower values decrease the brightness and narrow the stereo image while higher values increase the brightness and widen the stereo image. The user interface controls are rounded out by our modular effects rack window with 18 different DSP effects modules that you can assign to any of the 10 available slots in any order you wish.
Lakeside Pipe Organ also comes with 21 custom sound design effects and ambient presets. This is a great way to show you what this library can do and also a really cool way to spice up your music. Now let's go ahead and play through some of the custom effects presets.
And if you guys want to find any more info on Lakeside Pipe Organ, make sure to visit our website at soundiron.com for more info and demos. And I want to thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.